the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Fourteenth of December, Wednesday racing at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the Poly Track, where our suggested bets will be put up on screen shortly. I'll go through my pick six. As I mentioned earlier on, I'm not really a pick six player. I like to play my each way bets and find the value at 10, 20 to 1. But I've decided this is the card where I'm going to leave out a number of favourites and go with the bigger priced horses. So let's go onto that slide and you can obviously add to that and take a percentage. I worked out around about 10% I'll be taking on the day. I'll play one or two different little perms. But you can see we're going in with soldiers. And you'll look at the perm and you'll say, why did you leave out this? Why did you leave out that? <laughs> I'm just taking a stance and I'm looking for the Christmas bonus. Two, five eight and nine in the opening leg. In the second leg, two, three, five, six and seven, by numbers two and nine, by one, two, six and eight, by one, two, four, six and eight, and then ending off the meeting, numbers one, three, and five. One, three, and five. And perhaps throw in number two, Funky Music, who Dees does like a bit of in race number nine. So that's my perm. Add in a few of your own fancies. And hopefully, as Dee says, when you go to the window, you throw the money, you get your percentage, and hopefully it's a winning ticket. Over to you, Dees. Yeah, hopefully Sheldon has given you a good guide there because it looks a uh, bet to catch. You want to get involved in this pick six on Wednesday. I've done a place accumulator and both Sheldon and I agree in race number three if you want to bank some cash for that. Pick six, seven to two in race number three, not going to get hurt. Number one, salient point, a banker. Then we're going three, five and eight, but two, three and twelve, but five, six and eight, but two, three and eight. Now where I have that banker of New Orleans in race number eight, horse number three in New Orleans, I'm quite confident of a top three position. But when discussing that race, it's amazing that uh, we're just having a chat with Sheldon, what can come off. And we both found number eight puff of smoke in that race at around 20 to one, which looks to be decent value there. But I'm confident that New Orleans will finish in the top three, but the value could be puff of smoke along with number six, give me a lullaby. And then the last rake, well, easy for me, one, two, and three, and hopefully we can possibly double up there in that PA, but it's not as easy as it looks that last race if you go further down the page with horses that have some form, but we're going with the horses that are drawn well. Call me Mr. Greenlight, Funky Music, and Pedro, and that is the perm of that place accumulator. Sheldon, it's been an absolute pleasure and hopefully everything goes according to plan and most importantly, the weather plays ball as well. Yes, looking at the forecast for Wednesday, it's around about 27 degrees with the amount of rain we've had recently. Hopefully the sun will pop out and hopefully the rain will only come after the last race. So all in all, have a top day's racing and I think this is a card where there's a lot of value on offer. Make some money. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.